Well, I welded a whole new exhaust system from the exhaust manifold into the muffler and out the side of the motor home. And I'm going to show you how I did it just with the cheap stuff. Take it all off and I put it together and then I welded it. Well, this is the whole job before you watch me weld it together. I uh, put new mufflers in. I did a dual exhaust all the way to the back. Well, this is my motor home. And we look under here. And there's the exhaust. And right up in there, it's leaking. So I already got the bolt to take it off. And they're probably going to move. And I know one did already just by just touching it. But I'm going to heat them up. And what I'm going to use is just my little map gas thing heat them up and get them off because I just don't trust it any other way. So I got my little map gas thing and just heat that bolt up. And usually when you're doing it like this you got to do it for a while. At least four minutes or so. Get that real hot and that bolt should come right off. When it starts getting red like that I just get in there bit at a time or I'm not going to break it and it keeps coming so that's it got it that's it got the first one off I got the bolts off or not the bolts the nuts just so you can see what's going on they got this thing going on up here and I'll show you what that is. That's like a flapper for a heat thing. And we got the flat. So now we're going to find a way to go around all this. Now we're looking at the other side of the engine. And see this one. The bolts. You can see that. Right up there. I could put them right through. So I might saw the other ones off on the other side and do the same thing. I'm going to get this thing here, it's going to go up in there like that. i got to figure a way to do it. Well, here's the old pipes right here. So I'm going to use this. This is going to go in here, however it goes. I'm going to weld that in and go that way. And this one, i got to weld this in, and it's going to go that way. Now, here's the plan. I got this, the old ring off of here, because this one don't fit. And this one don't come off, so I'm going to cut it, and then this one will slide on there, and then I'm going to re-weld this again. So I'm going to start by cutting this right off of here. Now this ring will fit right on there. It's supposed to fit on there. So it's a little oversized and I'm almost there. I can't find my little grinding wheel so I just got a little rat tail file. I go around, it's going pretty quick. I'll get it. So that's it. Fits right in there. I got my little bevel. All ready to go. So that's it. I'm going to have to go down in the car and check it, but that's going to be my first uh, first weld is right in here. So we're back up underneath and see what I'm doing. I'm dry fitting it because I want to see how far it's going to come down. You see on the other side, I already did that one. I figure I'll do that one and practice on the welding. But I'm laying it out dry and I made marks right there. See the pin? I made marks right there where this thing goes right there. You see it? Then I know when I weld it, it'll be good. I got the part all laid out dry. You see my marks there? I know that's where they go. This one is jammed in there solid, so I don't have to worry about that. This is what I'm using. It's a MIG Flux 80. 
Uh, I got the heat on high. I got this on high, number two, and my wire speed is five. Now, I'm not a welder. I'm guessing just like 90% of everybody else. But I'm going to put some sandpaper on here first and sandy edges, that's all. That's all I want to do is just uh, make sure it's good and clean. Well, I'm pretty much ready to go. I like the sleeve. You see, you sleeve it in, and if I weld it around the top, I know I'm going to be pretty damn close. So I got my welder, and I got it all screwed up, but I know that's where it goes. So I'm going to start right there. Oh, let me turn the argon gas on. So I do the one side. I flip it over. And I do the other side. Now I go back and I'm just going to go right around and it's supposed to sound like bacon. Let's see if I can do it. can't see real good because of uh, the helmet, but I'm not bad. That's not bad. I didn't burn no holes in it. Well, it's not too bad. I'm just going to grind the rough edges off. too bad for a novice. Now I'm going to do this part up here. That's that. It's not great, but hey, for a beginner, not bad. And if you look inside of it, you can see where it heated up in there and even if it didn't weld 100% I know because of the sleeve it's going to stay there. Now this is the extension from here to there where the other uh, part moves in but because I'm welding it I could cut that in half and use that for a sleeve for something else when I'm short. I could use this to sleeve in something else. Now when you're doing this stuff, your wire speed and professionals will know exactly because they do it all the time. I don't, but close enough, as long as it works. Well, I'm all bolted up in there. New, new uh, nuts and just caught. There's my welds. And I'm going to flip around the camera here. But I got it all the way down to the muffler, which is just holding there. And from there, we're going to continue on. Well, this is the other side. And up here, the bolts went right through. Well, I got back here is where the pipe ends. And this is where my muffler is, and I made a mark to make sure I don't go too deep with the muffler. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna have an update. Guess what? Wasn't happy with the way this was going. It was too close to the brake lines. I tried to make everything where I can get at everything because that's the original one over there. And then I find out you don't have to go over the axle. You can go out before the tires. So all this stuff in here is not needed. Uh, so now I'm going to take it off and make it simple so that I can I don't have to worry about all that stuff. I didn't know that. I looked the regulations up, talked to the mechanic that inspected it, and talked to another inspection mechanic, and I'm going to change the whole situation. Well, that's it. Finished the whole job all the way up into the uh, exhaust manifold. I'm going to start it now and see how I did. Well, I started it up and checked the whole muffler system and there's no leaks. So when I welded it, I was using this uh, steel core and I was using the argon gas up here. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to change it to this stuff, which is a uh, gasless flux core welding wire. And I'm going to use that instead of using the gas. And one time I forgot to turn the gas on and it welded just as good. Now I put the flux on and I had to switch it. This is the torch feed that comes down off of here that goes to black. And then the work feed will go to positive. It's right there. Anyway, I finished the job. It cost me around 300 bucks to do the whole thing. But I changed the welder to a flux so I don't have to use the gas. And I had to drop the temperature settings because uh, it was too high, but it works good. So I, I, I don't have to use the, the tank anymore. So that's the end of the project.